So today we are going to try generating some game characters using stable diffusion. More specifically we will try making visual novel characters using this tool called Mage Space. Visual novel characters usually have a full body portrait with a variety of expressions or poses. So I have a set of prompts and seed values prepared. As I have cherry picked some results which appear good. Because when you are using AI the results are unpredictable. So we have to keep generating until we get good results. So I'm going to show you a notepad with the prompts used and the respective seed values. You can pause the video anytime if you want to reproduce the same results yourself. Before that as you can see I have used a negative prompt which I will provide in the description. And also I have set the quality to 70 and the guidance scale to 17.5. And also set the resolution ratio to 9 to 16 as it is more fitting for full body portraits. Ok so let's open the notepad file. Here are the prompts used and their respective seed values. The prompts have a common style which I'll provide in the description as well. So I'm just going to generate a few to demonstrate how it works. Copy paste the first prompt. Then copy paste the seed value. And check the generation. Then adjust the prompt with an expression like smiling. There we go. Also you can click this enhance button here to get a bigger resolution. There you can see a much better picture. But one thing. In visual novels they don't have background. So what we will do is open up an online AI background removal tool. And drag and drop this image there. Quite simple right? Here we have a clear visual novel character. So it'll go back to mage space. And quickly it'll go through the next three prompts as well. You can just listen to the music meanwhile. So these are the characters generated. I have generated expressions for them as well by adjusting the prompt as told before. And it'll show the originals first then the characters without the background. So you can see the results. So that's about it. In some generations you will see oddities like extra hair or fingers. But that is expected from an AI model. So this is the easiest method I have found for generating consistent characters for visual novels. There are other methods like image to image generation or custom diffusion models by using Dream Booth. But I will cover them in later videos. 
So that's about it for now. Have a good day.